Hey there guys, Mike here. Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays collection is back. Back to show you some movies. That's right guys. I had a chance to uh, check out some movies uh, here recently uh, that features an actress that I think doesn't get a lot of props or acclaim or little episodes, video, YouTube ep episodes about and stuff. Um, I mean, growing up in the 80s, it seemed like she was in all kinds of movies. Uh, she had a, a TV show called uh, Police Woman or Police Story or something. Um, the actress I'm talking about is Angie Dickinson. Now, she's been in some really good movies, some classics, a lot of classics, by the way. She's still with us, and um, I thought she was just gorgeous, you know, in the 50s and 60s, and uh, just continued being one of those actresses and stuff and uh, i just thought i had a chance to watch some stuff uh, one of these is new i just picked this up this is a uh kino blu-ray uh, i got it on ebay i believe it's out of print now but i believe this was an x library copy sometimes you can get those they'll you know um, if you don't mind a sticker or two on there you know saying x library da 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 um but actually this you know this one doesn't have stickers all over it or anything uh but it's really nice and i believe it's out of print uh the movie i'm talking about is sam whiskey uh it stars uh burt reynolds uh it's got ossie davis and clint walker and then um angie dickinson as laura uh but yeah interesting movie this came out in 1969 uh, it was directed by uh, Arnold Lavin. Uh, music by Herschel Brooke Gilbert. Uh, pretty good film score. I had never heard of him, but pretty good score. Uh, but yeah, a really interesting movie. I mean, it's very... And the disc looked really good. It's, got, it's a really good transfer. Um, pretty pretty funny. And, and the three... Actually, the four people seem like they really gelled together it was almost per well cast you know i don't know if perfectly cast but uh um like aussie davis he's really good in this um and clint walker uh, you know clint walker's been in quite a few movies I've, I've shown quite a few of his movies on my channel and of course burt reynolds uh really good in this movie i mean this this was kind of an un undiscovered gem for me to find i, I did i really enjoyed this movie um I, I don't know what uh rotten rotten tomatoes says about it or some online source rates it i, do, I don't care it's really funny it's really action-packed and good let me read a little bit about it because I, I really do recommend this um because i had no idea about this movie uh, but here, here's what it says on the back of the Blu-ray. Uh, when it comes to trouble, make his a double. Welcome to America's wild and very wacky West. Burt Reynolds, Clint Walker, Aussie Davis, and Angie Dickinson star in this tongue-in-cheek tale of love, lust, and larceny that's brimming with real charm and sharp wit. Thanks to to the ingenious plot twists, hilarious blunders, and delightful chemistry. Which is true. They have a great chemistry together. Sam Whiskey is a uh, calmly, calm, calmly caper full of mischief and mayhem that is altogether intoxicating. Even crooks have standards, and keeping that keeping the loot is usually one of them. But when cowboy con artist Sam, played by Burt Reynolds, falls head over spurs for a sexy widow, played by Angie Dickinson, he finds himself compromising a lot more than his principles. And after she seduces him into helping her break into the U.S. Mint to return a fortune in stolen gold, that's right, return a fortune in stolen gold. Sam begins to suspect that honesty might have some very ample rewards. Wonderfully directed by Western specialist Arnold Lavin, um, who he had made a movie called Rough Night in Jericho, which I haven't seen, and maybe I knew do a little research on him because I mean they say he's a Western specialist, but I've never heard of him. Uh, with a great script by William Norton, who wrote uh, White Lightning and Gator, that uh, Burt Reynolds stars and later on 
Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got a cool interview uh, with Clint Walker. I mean, he's such a cool guy. I mean, he's such a down to earth, you know, honest guy. Um, but yeah, this movie's really cool. It's really, really cool. And uh, it's definitely a movie that I'm going to rewatch again. Um, there's another movie with Burt Reynolds that I've, I've watched one time. I think I showed it. Uh, it's called 100 Rifles, and I want to rewatch that here real soon uh it's also got rock raquel welch in it and uh jim brown so i'm gonna check that out later on but this is uh burt reynolds without a mustache and uh it kind of it's not like it says it's wacky but it's not like you think it's not gonna be like this like it's an episode on a tv tv episode or something it's really good the humor is gently placed in there it really comes off in the in the charisma of the characters like you know imagine burt reynolds and how he is his swagger and everything and um you know he's, he's trying to be serious he's trying to be you know keep his nose out of trouble and stuff and uh, you know like the description said he's tempted back into this life and everything just and and wonderful uh co-starring actors uh clint walker and aussie davis are perfect in this movie they're they are so good and uh, of course angie dickinson really good she's kind of holding all this together somehow and the whole, whole movie you're, you're trying to figure out is what's her what's her deal is she gonna backstab them what's going on and stuff so it, it is really good I, I i do recommend it um sam whiskey so if you can find it out there guys you see it in a store used store or something second hand pick that thing up uh next up this was one of the more uh popularly known roles with angie dickinson in it uh this is a bona fide kick-ass late 60s action movie with with the wonderful lee marvin point blank point break blank point blank i'm sorry uh I got this out recently and rewatched it, and and it's funny because I got this out to rewatch it. It had Angie Dickinson in it, and then when I came across watching Sam Whiskey for the first time, it had Angie Dickinson in it, and then I had another movie that I'm going to show you that was I had watched and it was there. So I, what I did, I, I the ideal came to me, you know, and I'm going to talk about angie dickinson's a little bit so th this movie has a lot to do with me doing this episode i mean this is a great great action movie um directed by john borman this uh is before he would do deliverance um like i said lee marvin is just man one of his best movies it's got uh keenan Wynn. it's got carol o'connor carol o'connor Archie Bunker himself, uh, great little cast of people. Uh, it's based on the novel called The Hunter by Richard Stark. Uh, and I think he did a whole series of books, really good books, and a lot of them were turned into movies. Uh, but yeah, man, this is great. Uh, Lee Marvin gets double crossed, and they thought by a partner and this gang. Um, uh, somebody took his $93,000 and they thought he was dead. They took his money and took his girl, basically. So he comes back and he's getting revenge. Every 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 corner he turns, he's, it's just an action-packed something. And he has a, he's set on getting this guy and getting his money back. And nothing's going to stand in his way. Uh, really good. Uh Lloyd uh, Bochner and Michael Strong um, also starred in this. I think the guy, I think the the boss. Who's the boss guy? Oh man, I don't want to. I don't want to say the wrong name, but I think it's. I think it's Michael Strong. But anyways, it it is really good, and Angie Dickinson never looked better. She's really good in this. Um, John Borman's direction is top notch. Uh, Special features. It's got a commentary by the director John Borman. It's got some feet, uh, vintage featurettes called The Rock Part One and The Rock Part Two, which were archived on the set documentaries that were made at the time and stuff. So, yeah, point blank. If you've never seen this, man, this is the time to check it out because it is really good. Next up, the movie I was 
other movie I was talking about that was laying around that I had watched recently with Angie Dickinson in it um, was this. This is a 1959 western directed by Howard Hawks, one of one of the best westerns in my opinion ever made. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite westerns. Probably my favorite. It could be my favorite Howard Hawks. Red River is really good. Uh, but I, I think it's my favorite Her Howard Hawks Western, and that's Rio Bravo. Super, super good movie. Super classic Western. I mean, it, it's a movie that I can watch all the time. It never gets old. Uh, beautiful Technicolor f uh, film. It's well directed. Uh, and my favorite Dean Martin role. I think he was really good in this. Some people say, well, maybe he's miscast. Maybe he sticks out in the West. But I don't believe that. I, th I think he fits right in there. And um, just great performance by Dean Martin, I believe. And, uh, you know, John Wayne was never better in this. Uh, it also stars singer uh, Ricky Nelson. Uh, and they have a chance to, he sings a song in, in the movie and stuff. Um, great supporting cast uh, Walter Brennan one of my favorite Walter Brennan performances even as just a, he's, he's just kind of a, what, what, what's his name um, ah, what do they call him I forgot he's got this he's got this nickname they call him but he's he's kind of a old crotchety old man bitching all the time and stuff like that but he's he's really good uh, it's also got Ward Bond um, John Russell, uh, Pedro Gonzalez, Gonzalez. He's really good in this too, as the hotel. Uh, he runs the hotel. I'm not sure if he's the owner or not. Uh, Estella Rodriguez is also in this. Uh, screenplay by uh, Leigh Brackett, Lee Brackett, and a super good musical score by Dimitri Tiomkin, which is really good. So yeah, it's got so much going for it. Beautiful Technicolor. And uh, this Blu-ray looks really good. And um, also I have a DVD deluxe box uh, set that I think I showed in another episode. Uh, but yeah, definitely check out Rio Bravo. I mean, Angie Dickinson is the character. Her name is Feathers, and she's kind of a, an old flame of John Wayne's. That he, She kind of comes back to town and kind of in his life. And really good. Uh just really good it's got it's got a few extras on here it's got a great uh commentary by R richard schickel and john carpenter the director uh, it's got a documentary uh commemoration howard hawks rio bravo and uh it's got it's got a couple of little featurettes and stuff but the documentary about howard hawks is really good on here and finally guys uh this was a movie from uh 1971 this is a uh Warner Archive DVD release. This was directed by French director Roger Valdim. Val Valdim. Uh, and what's really interesting about this, um, this is a novel written by Francis Polini, but the screenplay was done by uh, none other than Gene Roddenberry, who, uh, you know, of Star Trek fame. Uh, it was also produced by John, uh, Gene Roddenberry, which is also equally as interesting. Uh, but this is a movie that uh, was um, kind of racy at the time uh, when it came out and everything. Uh, the movie I'm talking about, uh, Pretty Maids All in a Row. And um, I, I was reading, uh, I'm still reading Quentin Tarantino's uh, new book and stuff. And he mentions when he first saw this in the theater, when he was like nine or something and stuff. And it, it, it's one of his you know favorite memorable movies from growing up and stuff like that so he he has a lot to say about it in his book and everything but but this movie stars uh rock hudson uh angie dickinson uh telly savalas he's really good in this uh it's also got roddy mcdowell and keenan Wynn again he was just in point blank uh but yeah it's a very interesting uh movie it's it's you know it's funny it, it's mis it's got mystery it's kind of get what you call it, gratuitous and just you know it's has a lot going for it but anyways this takes place at a high school and um 
uh, there, there's a, a student that's played by John David Carson who's obsessed with sex. Fortunately, he meets lots of girls. Unfortunately, they all end up dead. Uh, Roger Vadim brings his quirky sensibility that has made his uh, Barbarella movie a cult fave. That, that, that was the movie with Jane Fonda, and uh, I don't know if they were married at the time or dating or something. But anyways, um, uh, the movie's uh, outrageous, flower-powered, black comedy slash sex comedy slash murder mystery sure to offend some family relations. Oh, and for sports fans, there's the big game, too. Uh, Playing Randy football coach, Rock Hudson headlines a top cast that includes Angie Dickinson as a sexy substitute teacher, boys. And Telly Savalas as a, a, a savvy homicide cop. Sans lollipop. Yes, he has a lollipop in it. And as much as everybody's doing it as a whodunit, this... Uh, one movie that just has to be seen to believe and um, I think that sums it up pretty good it's, it's really good to perform I mean just to see the movie with Telly Savalas Rock Hudson and Angie Dickinson in it, and, and plus Roddy McDowell it, it's kind of an odd mixture and it just it really works it, it just works it's one of those movies that you don't really think you know on the surface that you would watch it but every time it's on i end up watching it's kind of like uh 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 what is it the valley of the dolls movie uh, beyond the valley of the dolls you know it's just it's very odd and it's not the best movie ever made but it's it's one of those movies where you you watch it i don't know you just it, it's just odd i don't know you, like it says you just have to see it to believe it uh, but really good. I mean, Rock Hudson with his mustache and uh, Telly Savalas with his his lollipop. And uh, that's really cool. It, it really is. It's cool. So Pretty Maids all in a row on Warner Archive DVD. Check that out. But uh, in all, those are all movies with Angie Dickinson in it. Um, I mean, some other good ones would be the... Uh, uh, What's his name? Uh, Think of it. Uh, Where's it at? Where's it at? Uh, Blowout. No, not Blowout. Um, Dress to Kill. Okay, I got this off the shelf. And I really do need to upgrade to a a Blu-ray of this. But this is the Criterion DVD by Brian De Palma, is what I was trying to say. Um, Dress to Kill. Now, she's really good in this, of course. I think a lot of people know her from this movie too you know in in recent times you know in my generation uh but yeah it's a great brian de palma movie another fave of quentin tarantino uh but yeah check this out uh another really good movie with her uh so there you go guys some angie dickinson for you she getting some getting getting some love today with uh, on Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays collection. Thanks for watching, you all. Uh, if you've got any comments, please let me know. If you uh, like this, give me a thumbs up. Smash that like button. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other uh, videos. So um, until next time, guys, you all take it easy out there. Watch a good movie tonight. Check out some Angie Dickinson. And um, I'll see you all later.